Hello and very welcome to your first German lesson. Um, my name is Marona and I am going to be your teacher for today and I'm very happy to be here and to help you. Um, so this is your very first German lesson so we are going to start from the very basics um, um, with writing and also a little pronunciation okay good so just let's start do you have a pencil and something to write okay very good so um, we are going to start with the very um, important words like I, you, he, she and all that stuff, okay? I'm going to write it down on my little blackboard and then we are going to read it together to learn the pronunciation, okay? Very good. So, you can write it all down on your paper. So, um, first word we are going to learn is I. Um, I means ich. So I'm just going to write it down right here. It's I C H. I'm gonna write the second word a bit bigger, maybe. Then U means do. Can you read it? Good. Then um, we are going to learn he, she and it, which is not that um, different. It is er, sie and is. I'm just going to gonna write that down. One moment. This means he, she, and it. Okay? Good. Did you write it down? Good. So then, um, you means... Oh no, sorry. First it's we. <laughs> that means wir. W I R. Mm -hmm. So then you would say you again, and we say ir. Like just the right the word right under the other one. Uh huh. And then you say day. So we say here again. So, C can mean a female, um, or it could mean a lot of people, or at least two, in plural. Okay, so I'm gonna show you again, and I'm gonna pronounce it again for you. So, this is ich, du, ihr, sie, is, wir, ihr, See. Okay? Very good. So I'm just gonna clean it. And then we can already continue. So, um, what is always very important in the beginning is to say, like, I am. Like, I am Marona, or I am tall, or I am cold, or whatever. Okay? This is very important. So, that means... I'm gonna write it down again. Ich bin. 
Okay? Ich bin, so you could say, I am Marona. Ich bin Marona. So then we are just going to continue to you. That means... Oops, no. <laughs> Sorry. Do... Bist. Du bist. You can always just repeat with me. Du bist. And then, it says again, er, sie, es, ist. Like this. Mm -hmm. So we're going to repeat. Ich bin. Du bist, er, sie, es, ist. So, any questions so far? Not? Good. So, there, go again. So, um, then, it is again, wir, which means we, wir sind, okay, wir sind. Then you means ihr, seid, ihr seid, okay, and then again. We would say they, we say see again. And here we also say sind. So, again. Wir sind, ihr seid, sie sind. Just repeat it one, two, three times till you have the pronunciation. And then you should be fine. Just make sure you write it down in a good um, system and you'll be perfectly fine. Okay? So, now I would say we learn a few adject adjectives <laughs> um, where you can use for all the... How do you say? All the persons that we have learned, you can use it for Ich bin, ihr seid, sie sind, etc. So, I'm just gonna randomly pick a few words where I think you may gonna use them um, more or a lot in the beginning. So, so let's say um, Ich bin, or I am, like tall. Which means gross. Okay, so gross. So I am tall. Or they are tall. Sie sind gross. Wir sind gross. Ich bin gross. Etc. Etc. Then the opposite is small, which means klein. Klein. So, ich bin klein. Du bist klein. Er sie es ist klein. Wir sind klein. Ihr seid klein, sie sind klein. Okay? Good. So just um, maybe you have a special dish, what kind of word you would like to learn? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, beautiful means schön. Okay, 
So let's repeat it. Ich bin schön. Du bist schön. Er, sie, es ist schön. Wir sind schön. Ähm, ihr seid schön. Oder nein, ihr seid schön. Ihr means um, you in plural. And then sie sind schön. Mm -hmm. Then maybe also the word nice, which means net. Um, here I have to mention that um, you guys use the word nice more than we do. Or, I mean, it still means the same, but you guys use it more, or a bit, a bit differently. But it still means the same. So nice means net. Ich bin net. Du bist net. Er, sie, es ist net. Wir sind net. Ihr seid net. Sie sind net. Okay? So, groß, klein, schön, net. Very good. Then um, what I have forgotten before is maybe also um, how to say hi or bye, um, which is also not that complicated. Um, if you say hi to a friend, you could just say hello, like hello. But we write it when a. Not in an E, how you do. Hello. Um, if you would say hello, guys, you could say. You could say hello to someone. To someone means um, to say hi to more than just one person, so it's plural. Hello to someone. Hallo zusammen. Okay. Um, if you say, I mean, to say bye, you could just say, I mean, you could also, you could also say bye or ciao, um, how in Italian. Um, but in a formal way, formal way, let's say you are in a store or. Um, I don't know, on a bank where you are not um, per, where you not say you, where you really have to say hey, mister, or you would say means um, see again so wieder means again and see sehen means see so it means like it's a nice way to say goodbye because we are going to see each other again and if you go to a store also and would say not to a friend hello um, a bit more familiar would be Also, a very important question is also always to ask, how are you? Um, to a friend, you would say, we get this dear. 
we get is here. So that means how go it you. If you would like it translated, we get is dear. Or you could also shorten it, and then you would say we gets. We gets. Hope you can see that. We gets. Um, this you would only say to a friend or somebody you you know better because um, you would not go into a store and say um, we gates because it's, it's not a polite version um, you only say that to friends okay so again we get is dear or we gates so we have written it down good Then, um, of course, I guess you want to know what, how you would say I love you. Um, everybody wants to know that in every language. So, this means Ich liebe dich. Ich liebe dich. Ich liebe dich. Okay? I love you. Good. So, then I would say um, we repeat a little what we have learned so far. So, it is, I am Maroon, you are Maroon, he, well, no, no, sorry, er, sie, is, ist, Maroon, wir sind Maroon, ihr seid Maroon. Sie sind Maroon. So if I do like this, that means plural. Okay, also at least two people. Um, so then we have also had Ich bin klein. Du bist klein. Er, sie, es ist klein. Wir sind Ihr seid klein. Sie sind klein. Okay? Then, um, ask me how I am. You don't know anymore? You can just have a look on your paper if you don't know anymore. Exactly. Wie geht es dir? Mm -hmm. So now I could answer Mir geht is good Which means I'm fine If I would say I'm not good I would say Mir geht is nicht good So nicht means not Okay, so again, ask me mm -hmm. Mir geht is Und wie geht es dir? Okay, very good. Very good. Mm -hmm. So, um, I guess we can still um, write down a few more important, just for the beginning, just words, without making a sentence. So, which, what word is also important is why which means warum like this warum 
So then, if you would say was, that means what? Okay. Um, where means wo? Wo? Mhm. And who means? So we have these words kind of um, in a different way. I was also pretty bit hard to learn it in the beginning for me because you're so used to your language. So, warum? Oh, now okay, I made a mistake. I just wrote the English word down. I'm so confused. I'm sorry. So. What would mean was? Was? Warum? Was? Wo? Und? Wer? So, um, have you written it down? Mm-hmm. I know it is um, a bit hard in the beginning. It is hard in the beginning for everything you learned, learn. But you just need to practice, and it is going to get better. I promise. It's with this like. It is with everything like this. It doesn't matter if you start to play piano or a sport or. I don't know. It's just. You need to practice and you also need to be motivated and to be happy and then it's just going to to um, become better. Um, what I can really recommend you is to watch um, a TV series in German with subtitles in the beginning. That's really also how I could really improve my English. Um, of course, maybe not now yet, because we have really only learned a few, few basic words. But um, we are just going to learn more and more, and then you can start with that. Um, it is also very um, handy, maybe, to watch children's series in the beginning, because they have a very simple language. It's not too fast, it is not too complicated. And you will just have um, more success and less fr frustration in the beginning. So this is really what has helped me. Or also, if you can already, just start to um, to read. Just very very simple books. Also, mostly made for uh, children because they have really a really easy vocabulary and this is um, something I have really done and enjoyed myself learning a language. Mm -hmm. So, um, let me just check my um, book when are you available to have the second date? <laughs> Next week. On what time? 3 p.m. Okay, then I'm just gonna write that down. So just please repeat everything we have learned so far. Um, and do not forget to take your pencils and your paper with you again. So we can really write everything down and yeah. I'm very excited already to meet you soon again and to practice with you. Mm -hmm. Thank you so, so much and I wish you a very nice week and enjoy. See you soon.